Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing an aerial makeup tutorial. Um, have some cat ears since it's Halloween, but I'm not doing a cat tutorial today. Um, I have a little mermaid inspired makeup. Um, it's just going to be eyeshadow, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I already have my face makeup and everything on. I use the um, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Pro Glow um, in the shade 202 Creamy Natural. And then I used the um, NYX Concealer HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and this is in the shade CW01 Porcelain. And then I used the Tarte Blush in the shade Party. The Wet n Wild Press Powder um, in the shade 821 Warm Light. Um, my highlight and contour palette. Um, I only use the contour in it, but I just use these two shades right here and mix them together. And then um, for bronzer, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And that is all I have on my face right now. Um, so I will go ahead and get started with the eyes. Okay, so when I recorded the eyeshadow portion of this, um, my iPad died and it stopped recording. Um, so I missed the actual eyeshadow part of the tutorial, so I don't have any face makeup or anything on for this one. I'm just going to do the eyes, um, but the beginning and the end of this video will have the full face and makeup and everything I use for those. So I'm just going to do um, the eyeshadow. It's going to be inspired by um, Ariel, the Little Mermaid um, eyeshadow. So I'll show you what I'm going to use. And I didn't have everything all um, in the same place for the eyeshadow, so they are a little scattered around. Um, and usually I go ahead and prime my eyes with concealer, um, which... I already did the first time, but um, I'm not going to do it this time, but um, I did use the NYX HD um, concealer, so the ones that already have my makeup on, you'll see it has this on and that one. Okay, so I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows with this brow brush. Sorry if this is kind of not very good. It's really awkward to try and like do them in the camera. Okay, um, so from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre, and I'm just going to use that to try and fill in my eyebrows. Um, where my eyebrows are darker, it doesn't show up super well on them. Um, if you had, like, blonde eyebrows or lighter brown, it would probably work better. Or um, if you just wanted to use maybe, like, a... Halloween makeup paint or something, it would probably show up better, I would think. But this is the only thing I had in red, so just gave that a go. Um, when you guys watch videos, usually I try and have one eye done first, and you just have to watch me do. Um, like one eye to match it, but since that recording is gone, I'll just go ahead and try and quickly do both eyes. My little sister was really excited I had a video to post, so I'm trying to record this one quickly and post and edit it so that she can watch it. Um, so you can see like the red tint in them. It's not super, super great, um, but that's on my eyebrows probably as good. As it'll get you can see um, if you want the eyebrows to look a little bit neater um, fill them in first with a brow pencil and then go from with the red so you already have your eyebrows on might be a little bit easier and then I'm just gonna go ahead do the same thing to this one I'm not doing them super precise um, or anything just because I don't want like a crazy red outline around my brows. I just want it to be a little bit more natural um, and just more red where the hairs are just because if I did like the red 
outline of them, it'd be more noticeable because the eyeshadow is going to show up my skin better than my brow hairs. Or if you want to cancel out your brows completely, um, you can use glue to cancel them out and then you could draw them on. And then I'm just going to take my spoolie again, brush back through it so you can see the red in them. Um, they just won't be super, super red. So that's probably all I'm going to do for those. And um, this is the brush by the brow gal in case you guys were wondering. Then I'm just going to take this eyeshadow brush right here. Just a random brush that I have. I'm going to dip into the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to use the shade Peaches and Cream. Um, usually I would use this to set down my concealer, but I'm going to be taking this makeup off right after I do it, so I'm not going to put down the concealer for this one, but usually I just go ahead and use that as an eyeshadow primer. Um, but either way, I'm just going to put down a light color. It just kind of gives you something to blend all your eyeshadows on top of, just a nice base. This is just like a fluffy brush. Put that down. And then... I'm going to dip back into this palette just with um, this crease brush right here. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It's a Mally brush. Um, I do really, really like it a lot, and it's really good for the crease. Now I'm just going to dip into the shade um, Summer Yum in a little bit of um, ah, the shade Puree. I'm just going to use this as a transition shade. It's mostly going to get blended out and blended over top of, but just to give us something to have down. And we just have a little bit of like red in them since we've got red in our eyebrows. The colors I'll be using for the eyes are going to be um, like an emerald green and a little bit darker green. Some of the ones I saw were teal, but um, where Ariel's tail is more like an emerald green, I wanted to try and stick to that. So I'm really just buffing this in my crease really lightly just to have a shade down to get started with. Help us out a little. Next I'm going to dip into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to go with the shade Gilded Ganache. Um, I do suggest doing your eyeshadow before you do your face makeup if you wanted to do this look um if you are going to be using any of these eyeshadows just because a lot of them do have a decent amount of fallout um if you're going to be using different shadows not exactly these um you might not need to but these particular ones do have a little bit of fallout so i would just go ahead and do your eyes and then do your face this one i'm just blending in the outer corner Dragging it a little bit into the crease, just making sure it's nice and blended. You just want to do like a windshield wiper motion, then blend it on the outer corner. I'm just going to quickly do the same to the other eye. Um, This is just like a fun Halloween tutorial. You don't have to be super, super precise with it. Just thought it would be something fun if you didn't want to dress up, but you wanted to do like some Halloween makeup or something. It's pretty easy to follow. It um, doesn't take very specific shadows, so you could do it with pretty much anything. Any um, colors like these that you had at home, even if you had like an aqua or something. Use that. Alright, these look pretty similar now. So that our eye has some definition, we've got some colors in our crease, some depth to our eye. I'm just going to take a clean brush and throw that brush on the floor apparently. I haven't cleaned off my brushes yet so this brush was a lot cleaner last night with no makeup on it. But I'm just going to take this, it's just kind of a dense brush a little bit. I'm just going to use this to blend out, it has no shadow on it but I'm just going to use it to blend out, make sure we have no harsh edges anything like that. Your biggest key is just to make sure you blend. 
I know the lighting is really terrible right now. It's really dark outside because I'm filming this at about 9.30. And I want to get some soft box lights and stuff, but I just haven't done any of that yet. So I still just have normal lighting. So I know it doesn't look super great. I'm also filming on my Mac, so it's also not fantastic lighting. Um, the pictures, well, the other video clips you'll see with my makeup already done, you will be able to see a little bit better. Mine looks exactly the same. I'm trying to do everything that I did in the other one to keep it as close as possible. Um, but all the same colors and everything was, were used. All right, now I'm just going to take a green shade. I'm going to use the green from the Kathleen Lights palette with um, Morphe. It's this pot right here. This pot was limited edition, so... I do apologize for that, but this is the only um, palette I have with a green like this. So I'm just going to dip into this emerald, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this into my crease, because this is the main color I want. It is a shimmer shade, but Ariel's tail is shimmery, so I want this to be a shimmery look. And this is a... Um, Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. They're really good brushes and they're um, pretty affordable. So I'm just running this in my crease basically everywhere. You don't have to be precise with it really. Just get it all up in there. gonna quickly also blend it into this sign. Sorry if I'm looking above the camera. I have a mirror there and it's just a little easier to see in the mirror to blend everything out than it is to try and do it in my Mac camera. And then I'm also gonna be Putting this all over the lid, which I have a brush that works a little bit better for this, but I'll just go ahead and start turning it over the lid while I have this one. And with shimmer shades, a lot of times your finger will work better. Um, these actually work, this one actually works pretty well with a, bl um, a brush, but if you do want to use your finger to put it on the lid, it will come off a little bit more intense. I know the camera isn't really picking it up, but it is just like an emerald green color. It's a shimmery emerald green. Alright, so once you have that green pretty much all over your eye and just blend it into your crease, basically we blend it over all the other colors, but they just help to give our eye definition and uh, make the top a little bit darker from our emerald on the lid. And it's a little messy right now, but we'll clean it up. And then I'm gonna go back to this fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip back into peaches and cream since we didn't really use like a transition shade. And I'm just gonna use this to blend out any harsh edges since there's not really a transition shade to do that with because I don't want the red and browns really in there that much and then same thing on this side just gonna blend it out make sure there's no harsh edges and this is basically just a skin colored Maybe a little bit lighter because it's a little bit peachy, but nothing too crazy noticeable. I'm going to blend that out. Your key is just basically to keep blending. Make sure everything looks nice and diffused. And then with this brush right here, um, this is just one from the Naked palette, but works nice with shimmer shades. I'm just going to take that. Go back over that on the 
lid. I'm just going to sometimes the blending can blend a little bit of that shimmer away. I do want it to be nice and shimmery. And more if you have like green glitter, if you wanted to use that, that would also work pretty nicely. Alright, now let me have that nice and intensified. Alright, so yeah, that's good. I'm going to highlight the brow bone really fast. And I'm going to go into the shade White Peach. Um, again, in the Peaches and Cream palette. Any, oh, any kind of highlighting brush you have will work. Um, white Peach is just... Uh, more white than peaches and cream. Obviously, white peach. Just run this under your brow bone. It'll help clean up that shadow we have in the crease and right above the crease, and also just highlight your brow bone a little. Make it a little bit more defined. Um, if you want to use like a shimmery color for this too, you could do that. I just liked the white. And then I am just going to blend back over that a little bit just to make sure that's still all nice and blended all right i'm gonna take this um my cellar cleansing water i like this a lot you could use a makeup wiper anything that you have i just don't like the way makeup wipes really feel on my face so i'm just gonna use this to clean it up put a little bit of that on a cotton pad and I'm just gonna clean the green off I'm just gonna wipe this off from under my eye and a little bit out of my inner corner and I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side I want to give it a little bit of like a cat eye effect Alright, I think that's off for the most part. Now I'm going to go underneath my lower lash line with my brush. I don't have a fantastic purple for this. I mean, you really need kind of like a lavender, I think, because these purples show up a little bit too dark. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to take this purple right here. I can't see that super well, but um, it's called Delectable. It's also from the Sweet Peach palette. And I'm just going to run that purple underneath my lower lash line. I feel like you could really use this makeup for anything that uses green and purple honestly I think there's some other things that do I think I'm just gonna do the same to this eye really quickly I don't know how it's speaking on camera because looking at my Mac it looks a little odd but it is um I mean it's purple it just comes off as a darker purple on your eye especially than it does in the pan than it does in the pan so it's not the exact purple color but it's close enough I just like to use this to get into my lash line it's not good for blending it out but blend it out in the same way yeah different brush I'm just gonna run this right where the green ends on both sides I'm going to use this to kind of diffuse that out a little bit and it blended just because that brush makes it a little bit harsh it just fits really nicely under your lower lash line that's why I like to use that one
And then that is a little bit dark. So I'm going to take this ColourPop liner in the shade Crybaby. Which these are really, really good liners. They go on really nicely in the waterline. They stay on really well. They're really pigmented. I love them. They're super affordable. I think they're, only, I think they're $5 I'm pretty sure. Or somewhere right around there. So I'm going to run that on my waterline. On both eyes. But I'm also going to run this. Just right under my. Lower lash line. Not coming out very well. It has like dark makeup. There we go. Left on it from last night. So I'm just gonna run that underneath my lash line, which will look a little messy for a second, but I'll blend it out because I'm literally just drawing it under there. But these blend really, really well. a little bit more in my waterline just right on my lashes a little okay and I'm gonna go back in with this kind of fluffy brush it's not really fluffy it's like a flat, flat eyeshadow brush but works well for blending it out I'm just gonna blend out that eyeliner with that little bit darker purple from the peach palette. These blend really well, so I like using them under the eyes. Just get that all nice and blend it out. Just makes it a little bit lighter. Kind of the right shade of purple. And once again, I'm just gonna go back under the eyes I mean, miss, don't take off what you just put on, but just any fallout. There might have been from that purple. You make sure it's all blended out. And then for my inner corner on the last video, I put the green in the inner corner. Um, so that's what you'll see in the pictures, but I think I'm going to do something shimmery since I'm doing a second of it. I think I'm just going to put this um, shade right here, just like a shimmery white color. I'm going to put that in my inner corner um, to brighten it up a little. It's not that it's a super dark look, but I just want to give some life to my inner corners. This shade is really intense. Um, usually I don't use this much, but since it's a Halloween tutorial... Put a little extra so that you can really see it. Um, if you like the green in the inner corner in the um, pictures though, I just use that same green color. Just popped it in my inner corner. That's a little intense, so I am Jesus, blended a little bit just a tiny bit so it's not quite so in your face but I think that gives it like a little bit of life to it and then I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'll be right back but for um, my bottom lashes I use the NYX um, color mascara in purple it's not fantastic um, I really only like it on my bottom lashes because it doesn't really do much um, as far as the mascara goes it doesn't really make them like long or anything like that it's kind of a watery formula but um, it does add a little bit of color. So I'm going to use that on the bottom with the purple. Then on the top. Um, I'm going to use the Essence False Lash Print Ass Mascara. It's really good and I think it's like $4. So I will put those on and I will be right back.
I was gonna edit this part out, but I'm gonna let you go ahead and see. I really have no trick at all to put on mascara other than this purple one is a little bit messy and does tend to get on your bottom lashes so um, would not recommend this for everyday use if you enjoy wearing colored um, mascara there are some better ones for your bottom lashes for everyday use um this one wouldn't be bad at all but I wouldn't use it on your top lashes probably. And then just gonna put some of this on. Oh sorry, went out of screen. Um to be only four dollars, I think it's four dollars or four ninety nine. This mascara is actually really, really good. I like it a lot. Um you do have to be careful with it. Uh, make sure you do even coats, but if you do that, it works really, really well. I know this camera probably doesn't make it look like it's that great, um, but it, it really is good. You can tell a difference. Put on this eye really quick. And it is very buildable. I'm not building it a ton right now, just because that's more layers that I have to wipe off in a few minutes, honestly. Um, but if I'm like going somewhere and I want to build it up, um, you can build it a lot so that it resembles falsies pretty well. If you wanted to with this look, if you wanted to put on falsies, you definitely could. I just chose not to. So I don't know how you can tell or how well this camera will show it. It looks better on my iPad, but... And this is the completed look as far as the eyes go. Um, in the videos, you'll see the eyes and then also the lipstick that I used. Um, but I hope this looks pretty similar to what I did before. I used all the same colors and everything. So just tweak it how you guys want it. Um, and then you will see the rest of the video now. But this is the eyes. And then um, I went ahead and put on my lipstick. Um, in the shade Peacocky. Um, it's a sheer lipstick from ColourPop, a lippy stick. Um, her lipstick didn't really look like a true red, so this one looked like the closest that I had. Bring you in a little closer. Bring you guys in a little closer. So here's the finished look. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, maybe if I had like a teal or something to put in there, but I couldn't find one, so... For now, let me remove my cat ears. I just thought this might be fun. Um, if you didn't want to like dress up for Halloween, you just wanted to do your makeup or something like that. Um, so it's just an aerial inspired look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more tutorials like this, um, or just any tutorials in general, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, also if you wanted to hit the thumbs up button, um, that would be fantastic as well. So thank you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.